Are you ready for this recap of this crazy episode? Of the of quadruple date? What do you think it was called? I think it was called Karma's Company, Janice Ian's a Crowd. I thought it was called Janice Ian's Company, Karma's a Crowd. This is interesting. So it starts off with Amy and Karma and their cute little Karmy scene where they're discussing their plans for uh, the weekend. Uh, there is a even cuter Amy and Janice Ian scene that immediately follows. I wouldn't call it cute, I would maybe call it sexy. So they start making out in Amy's room for I think it was about 45 minutes. At least that's the amount of time it took us to rewind and watch it over and over again. There were a lot of lady kisses in it, therefore there was a lot of rewinding. And then the making out almost stops because Amy's worried that her mom's gonna come in. Um, Janice, you are 19. Get your car and go make out in the woods. So basically this entire episode, Shane tricks everyone into doing a group hang, which is basically a new quadruple, quadruple date. date. Uh, at a restaurant called Communal, which I don't even know why I told you that because who cares? I think it was a metaphor for all of the like communal hanky panky. Because everyone's kind of sleeping with everyone? Yeah, it's gonna get they, there. The point of the restaurant is that you share everything, like everyone is sharing each other. Janice Ian accidentally calls Karma Carmen, which is extremely rude, and she better get on Amy's good side if she wants something to happen. Karma would never do something uh, like Amy that. Amy didn't even tell Janice Ian that Karma existed. Well, probably so. because she's obviously still in love with her. Obviously, Sarah. Or maybe because she is falling for her new girl and is forgetting about Karma. So, please. So Karma obviously upset that um, Amy didn't even talk to Janice Ian about her, decides to pull Amy to a corner in which Amy tells her that she's not in love with her anymore. And Karma says, well, like, was? You were? You're not in love with me anymore? Was. X is the key. <laughs> <laughs> which sparks a little bit of jealousy, which is just what we need to get that Karmi train a rolling. And then Janice Ian tells Heidi Doucheface that there's a thing called lesbian karaoke where all they do is sing pink singles. I'm pretty sure they meant Tegan and Sarah. Yeah. So basically, the whole episode is. Karma and Janice Ian fighting each other mm -hmm. for Amy's love. When it's, I mean, Karma's clearly winning. I mean, Karma saves Amy from an allergic reaction to when she eats uh, something dipped in peanut oil and yeah. she just smooth as fuck pops her with an EpiPen that she just happens to keep in her purse. Just carries that shit around. That's true love, Sarah. To know that I'm gonna hold on to your EpiPen because oh. we're always together. Oh. Janice Ian didn't even know that she was allergic to peanuts. Sorry, Sarah, but your ship just hit an iceberg. And then Janice Ian understandably gets upset because Karma is acting cray cray. Or maybe because they're still in love with each other. And she gets up and leaves the communal quadruple date. And then for once, Huddy Doucheface isn't really being a douche because he tells Amy to go after her. Well, <clears throat> that's arguable, Sarah, because I think he was only doing it to get Amy out of the picture. So it's still for selfish reasons. We never even mentioned that Janice Ian and Karma have a hilarious argument about whether Amy prefers mushrooms or kale after which is a giant metaphor <laughs> for which ship Amy's on. And guess what comes out on top? Mushrooms. Because she's allergic to kale. But she goes after the kale at the end. But then the mushrooms chases her and realizes that, you know what? Maybe shrimp is better all along. But then she tells the mushrooms to leave and don't come back. Uh, side note, Squirkle picks up the bill. And insert my best friend's wedding reference. Who's chasing you, Karma? Hotty Doucheface and Karma also get into a fight because Hotty Doucheface may be a douche, but he's not an idiot. And he can clearly see that maybe Karma has some feelings for Amy. I feel like you could see that if you're blind. But, you know, we didn't see the scene, but Amy and Janice Ian went home together. Right? Well, to right. do what lesbians do and have a pillow fight, that's it. Ended there. That's yeah. all that was happening. That's all that happens. Just a pillow fight. 
Raise your hand if you felt like really bad though for karma at the end of that episode. And if you didn't, you're lying to us and to yourself. Should we give our rating? My rating is obviously the entire Carmi scale because everything. And my rating for this episode on the Carmi scale of gay to straight is pansexual because everyone was just loving everyone. Thanks for watching Faking It Friday where we're not faking our feels because that's... Is that a new tagline? I think so. Leave a comment with what you thought about this episode. Yeah. And we want to know whose team you're on. Team Adriana or Team Sarah, apparently, because yeah. we're on opposite ships. We are on ships that are firing cannons at each other. Mine, Your ship mine's is totally going winning. down. And I like this video if you like lesbian kisses and if you want more of them. I yes. Think we all can agree, no matter what ship we're on, that. Lesbian kisses are a good thing. And we have a sale going on in our store. If you spend 30 bucks or more, you get 20% off. That's a lot of Carmi shirts. All right, thank you for watching Peggy Friday. Tune in next Friday where we recap episode eight.